in everything that we go through, whether it's good, whether it's bad, whether it's a challenge, whether it's a breeze, we have the power to decide what we're going to take from it, what we're going to get from it, and how we are going to show up in the midst of it. So today's episode, we talk about the invitation that we get, well, when we're in the middle of a challenge. Let's do this. Hey, and welcome to the Full Way to Joy podcast, the podcast for women who are done stressing about the weight of the world, of expectations, and settling for status quo, and ready to step into the full weight of joy. Joy in the journey, whether up or down, joy through the life's challenges, and joy in loving your life right where you are, even though sometimes we feel like chucking it all and moving to Bali. It's for women who are ready to step into who God called them to be. He chose you to be in this world. He created you for a specific purpose. God called us to be the light on a hill, and by embracing who you are and whose you are, you can stand on that hill and shine. The best part, when you're standing next to another woman who's also on the journey, the world gets brighter. My name is Tammy. I'm your host and a master certified life coach and a trained therapist. For over a decade, I've been helping women do just that. Step into who they're called to be and shine. Are you ready, friend, to start your journey? Let's do this. The podcast day. I'm so glad that you're here. Um, yeah, I never get tired of saying that. I really am thankful for you. And one of the things that I'm thankful for is the fact that you guys not only show up and you listen to the podcast, but I love when I get messages saying that, like, or questions, even what did you mean by this? Or can you tell me more about that? Or it hit this. This is exactly what I needed to hear. I love the feedback. From, from the podcast. So if you have a question, a comment, even if you, you know, if you don't like an episode, please be kind. Cause I mean, yeah, like it's, you can let me know. Sally, like this kind of missed the mark. I'm okay with hearing that. Cause I, and I want to know because I really want this to serve you. I want, I want you to look forward to listening as much as I look forward to creating these. And today's message, today's like what I have for you today is I heard a phrase that there's an invitation and in challenges. And when I heard that, I recognized that that's kind of been the story of my life. That's kind of been the story of like how things have gone is I've been through a lot of challenges and I've found, and I've, and I've called them, you know, the gifts of grief and, and gifts and the challenges. But it was like the invitation. Like I just like that word. And and so I was thinking about that. I was like the invitation in challenges because we can choose. We can choose. And you know, we all know the people who choose to see a challenge as just a struggle and not a like and not a way to grow. We all have challenges. We all have them, if not daily, every other day or so. And then there's some major challenges. And our our pastor always says that you're either heading into a challenge. Or he says a storm, you're heading into a storm, you're in a storm, or you are just getting through one. And if you really think about the things you've been through, that's kind of true. At least for my life, it's been like even the the days, the times that it's not, that it, there's not a really big stressor or a challenge or trial or circumstance. It's because I have just like come out of one. I've just learned through one. I've I've overcome it, and now it's like I get a little reprieve in order to to wait for the next one. How many times have you have have you experienced that? Something that I know to be true is that we get when when we have something on our heart, it kind of makes us uncomfortable. When we have something like we're, we want something that we've never had before, or we want something that we don't know it's possible. We have this desire, this drive, this kind of a goal, maybe, or a dream that we haven't really explored. If it's a God dream, sometimes it gets really loud within our soul. Sometimes that, that angst of needing something, like we have like time, like the time we feel like or waste or losing time or wasting time. It's do you hear like someone slam in the door? So sorry. That's it's happy slam, I guess you can say. If you if you hear that, that's what that is. Um people going in and out. 
But back to the back to the challenges. We all face challenges. And when we're trying to do something different, when we want something different, we have to do something different. When we want something different, we have to be somebody different. And we have to accept the challenges as they come. We have to accept that we're going to get stretched and we're going to get pulled and we're going to get molded. We're going to get refined through the fire. And it doesn't have to be a negative challenge. It could be good challenges as well. Like starting a business, growing a business, shifting your message, starting a ministry, even like, even with a, like an MLM, if you're, if you're starting something, some kind of entrepreneurial path, it's a good thing. And there's a challenge. And I'm going to have to put this on pause because of, do you hear it now? They're blowing the front. We got a lot of things happening here. I think it's enough. Let me just move my mic closer to me. And hopefully one of the things, oh, I wanted to mention this at the beginning and then I forgot to mention it is I noticed my last couple of podcasts, the mic, the sound wasn't as crystal clear. When I recorded straight to my editing software, that part was clear. But the sound of the podcast, well, I figured out the problem was and I fixed it. See, I had the challenge and I fixed it. And the and it gave me an invitation to figure out how to do it. Okay. Back to back to our originally scheduled programming. The the invitation part. You don't have to do it, right? There's a lot of things that we put ourselves into challenging situations by choice. So that's I think the invitation part of it. It's that we have the ability to say, no, I don't want to do that or it's not worth my time, or like, hopefully, hopefully by now you can identify when it's fear stopping you and not actual rational thought or, you know, really good reasons to not do something. But it's that invitation that comes from challenges, that invitation to be refined, the invitation to see what you're made of, the invitation to strengthen your strengths and your gifts and your talents, um, invitation to grow and stretch and get uncomfortable and do something you've never done before, to get something you've never had before. On this journey, this entrepreneurial, this mission journey, I have done multiple things that I've never done before. Some have done well, Some I learned to do better, and I'm still working on it. But the key is, is that I accept the invitation each time. What invitation do you need to accept? What, what prompting, what, what like deep in your knower, like deep in your soul, what is that whisper telling you? What challenge, what thing that it's kind of gets you out of your comfort zone and helps you grow, but you know that there's a a new freedom on the other side of it. You know there's a new experience, that you know that it's it's a new possibility. It's a new way to partner with God. It's a new way to provide for your family, a new way to, to show up. It's a new way to step into who you're being. Are you willing to take the invitation, to accept the invitation, and to to push past the challenge and say, yes, it's hard, but I'm really excited about it. That's what I feel is a lo- that's kind of the difference between those who survive and, and those who thrive. Those who kind of take it and if they don't accept the invitation and it may, they may be still on that track, but it, it takes them longer to do. A lot of times that invitation, that that permission that we take for ourselves is is what we need in order to do something different, in order to to grab an an opportunity, seize the day, and to tell ourselves, okay, this is hard, but I can still do it. It allows you to get scrappy. I don't know how many times in the last five years, um, honestly, the last like over a decade, even with being a widow and being a mother, like, okay, like, you know, you can, you know how many times you've gotten scrappy during motherhood, right? Like kids bring something, you need to get them into bed a new way because they're on to your old ways. Yeah. You get scrappy. It was an invitation to try something different, an invitation to grow. And I wanted to just 
that's what I just wanted because those who embrace the invitation instead of pushing away the challenge, those are the individuals, those are the women, those are the women who shine. You can tell, like they're they're just a little different. And it's because they're willing to just try. They may fail, but again, what have we learned? What have we talked about? First attempt at learning. There is no fail unless you stop. It's just you get more information. You don't start over. You start from where you stand up. You have more information. You go forward. But this invitation that this in these challenges, and I was thinking of it like tangibly, because some of the challenges when you want to start something new, whether it's a book club or a, a ministry or a you know a stroller club or a stepping into MLM where you see the you see the possibilities or you start a business for yourself and you see other people doing it and you don't know how the challenge of the how the challenge of the i don't know how much time i have i'm already busy i'm already you know i'm wearing 100 hats already do i have time to add this the challenges of money it takes money to it takes money to make money. Have you heard that? That I have found to be true. That sometimes that investment in yourself is what allows the return, whether it's a little bit or a lot of it. It is that investment in time, money, resources, energy that that expands and grows in dividends. Like that brings back. It's like that sowing and reaping. It's when you sow and it takes, it takes time to sow. Like you, it does take something from you to sow. And then when it's time to reap, like you get the benefits, but you wouldn't get it if you didn't sow. And yes, it's going to take time, money, resources, energy from your current state. But if you want something different, you have to be willing to do something different, be someone different. And really, I I don't even like saying be someone different because it's within you the whole time. It's setting down some of the old ways of thinking, the old habits. It's that challenging, like one of the biggest challenges that I have encountered and that I have grown through, the invitation to change my belief system. Whether it's the belief in myself, whether it's the beliefs that I've grown up with, whether it's the beliefs that my friends hold for me, or the beliefs of my capabilities, or just the belief in the fear that stops me. When we're w- willing to take the invitation, get curious, and accept the challenge, we can grow and we can do things that are amazing. In this last couple of months, I have made some like I, I feel like I have shifted a little bit. Like I've allowed myself to step into a little bit of a bolder Tammy. I have, this is part of the, you know, stepping into the new identity. It's like, okay, how do I want to be seen? How, who do I want to be? And how do I become her? It's who I am already. I just get to step into it. And so I get to change and shift and I get to accept that invitation to try it. There's aspects that I'm like, oh, that's not really, that doesn't really work for me. So I'm going to set that aside and I'm going to stick with, because I want to be authentic. It is me and it is you. So this being somebody different, like I said, I don't really like that terminology. I've got to think of something better to say because it really is removing expectations, setting down old habits and beliefs that no longer serve you, that served for a moment. They served for a season. They protected you in some way. They kept you safe. They kept you successful in some ways. But when you're trying to do something different, you got to really get clear on those things that are not part of the new identity you want to hold, that part of that new experience, the part of the new you that you can actually say goodbye to. I think it's um, there's a song like that's like the breakup song where you break up with yourself, your old self, and then it's the new you. Like, I love that song and I get excited. Oh, I have to see. I, oh man, I should have, I should have looked it up to see who, who sang it beforehand, but I think it's called the breakup song and it's, and I know Mercy Me does one too, but I, I don't think that's the same one I'm thinking of. But anyway, the whole idea of allowing yourself to shift and change and grow by accepting the invitations in the challenge. 
it allows you to have something and be someone and do something that you've never done before. And it's just, it, you get to experience a new part of you. What challenge are you going through right now? What are you fighting against? What is on your heart that you're like shoved down? That what is this, this small voice that's saying, Hey, I think you could do this. There's an opportunity here. I think we should do this. Hey, this is like, listen to this voice for a moment and look at the challenge and say, okay, where's the invitation in here? What part sings to my soul? What part kind of is exciting? And it's, are you willing to give it a try? You don't have to make all the changes at once. Honestly, well, I'm putting together a five-day challenge. I'm super excited about it. It's going to come probably in July, but I'll tell you more about it. It's going to be, but it's called Permission to Pivot. And it's five days. We're going to talk about a, a way to give yourself permission each day to change something, something that you can set down, like change expectations, change your schedule, change your priorities, change your, what is it? Change how to identify what you want and start to change to start getting it. Like this permission to pivot, because it's one of the things that I re- like, I myself, giving myself permission to shift and change and grow, to accept the invitation of a challenge is what has been really like motivating and exciting for me. So what invitation for change is what motivation or excuse me, what, what invitation is in your heart? What challenge are you facing right now? And what is an invitation that you can, because sometimes when things are going, like when things are broken, we have an opportunity to set things down, to make drastic changes that we wouldn't if things are just comfortable. What's, what is a challenge you're facing right now? And what is a change you can make to help you get through it, but to grow through it? To whether like right now I am, I'm struggling with my 14 year old daughter. Like we've got attitude, we got hormones. I know that she's not in control of her emotions. So I know that she's in Enneagram 4. So not only is the, are the home, have the hormones taken over, but she also has really deep deeps. And so that's a challenge that I'm facing. It's like, okay, I, and like I was, I was thinking about this. What's the invitation in here for me as a mom is I get to shift to be more of a listener because now that they're teenagers, it's not really about telling them what to do. It's helping them figure out what they need to do. And so this is an invitation for me to shift how I approach her, how I talk with her. And I've been trying. So before I say and give directive, ask three questions. So this is an invitation for me to grow. And it's one of those things that like, it's not easy. Sometimes I just want to say, knock it off, like do your chores. But instead, it's like, okay, what's going on right now? What's stopping you from getting things done? How are you feeling? Like I can ask her three questions and it changes the energy, changes in me because I have to come up with that. So it changes my energy and my, instead of frustration, it brings in compassion. So that's where the the invitation for me to grow through that challenge. But what invitation do you have available to you? What's broken or on the way of becoming broken that you can use this as a way to make a few changes that you want to try it out? Again, you may try something and it doesn't work. That's okay. That's in order to get something different, you have to do something different. Sometimes we have to do a lot of things different. Sometimes we only do a few things different, but it's still there. So important that if you want to grow and change, and if you want to have well, if you let's just face it, if you want financial freedom, time freedom, relationship freedom, spiritual freedom, you got to go for it. You got to take it. You got to take the steps to do that. And one of the best ways is through being an entrepreneur. I'm just going to say it out there. Like for a long time, it was I didn't want to I, I didn't want to say that. I don't know why. I don't know what the block was. It was more of because I wanted to like if that's not on your heart, because I know that I have a, a wide array of people listening to this. And I was like, well, not everyone wants to be an entrepreneur. But then it was like, well, Tammy, what if they do? And they don't realize the invitation through the challenge of it. 
the invitation and the the ability and the freedom that comes from it because I guarantee I everyone has the ability the opportunity inside of them whether you're driven to do it whole another story that's your personal choice because it is if you're going to go for it if you're going to be successful you have to go all in and and those who do it's it's such an exciting experience god it's ups and it's god it's downs but the freedom of knowing that it's my choices like i get to partner with god and i get to take it the direction that i that i see him leading me i don't have someone telling me that no this is the one way go it's god gives us permission to to try different things and like i like i said last i think it was the last episode where it's like you can't choose wrong he will he will direct your paths like we don't have to worry about that we can take him at his word and we just get, get to try which is a beautiful invitation in itself so what's on your heart today what challenge are you facing and i want to challenge you in the midst of your challenge when things are is to discover what is an invitation inside of this challenge and how is it waiting for you to make the shift is it something that you need to invest in is it a is it something personality wise is it a habit is it a to do list item is it an expectation a lot of times and like one of the things that we first do with my clients is we start to set down expectations that are no longer serving us or that never served us expectations unrealistic ones we set for ourselves expectations excuse me that our family sets for us things that and it comes from a good place i i get that but if it doesn't serve us and it doesn't go along with our god dream like we don't need them they're holding us back and so in this challenge and maybe that's the challenge is setting down this expectation and I'll bless and release it and not picking it up again but what invitation is available for you right now what are you being invited to do to have to be i would love to know I would love to know. Go on Instagram at Tammy Marie Coaching, T A M I M A R I E Coaching, C O A C H I N G. There we go. At Tammy Marie Coaching and send me a DM. I would love to know what invitation is, is available for you. You can tell me about the challenge you're going through and then the invitation. I would love to hear it. Because I know that when we, when we talk about it, we can get clear. We can see it and we can, we can talk about the opportunities within it. So friend, really, what invitation do you have right now? It may be a little scary to admit. There's a couple of things that even as I was stepping in, like I said, it's just like bolder Tammy being more, not forceful, because I'm like, I'm not a forceful person. But it's like, I need to tell you what I'm doing. Otherwise, you don't know. I I get to tell you. I get to share. So I get to boldly say, by the way, I'm trying this. I don't know if it's going to work, but I think it's going to be great. And I worked really hard on it. So come join me. This challenge, this five-day challenge that's coming, the permission to pivot. Like I'm excited about this. And so if you're excited too, you want information, that's coming very soon. Join the Facebook group if you want the first Divine Destiny. Yeah, that's going to be, I'll, I'll put that there first. And then it's just, it'll be free five days, like 45 minutes to an hour each day where we're going to, one area of our life, we're going to give ourselves permission to pivot. It's based off of the thing, the areas in my life and in my clients' lives that when we gave ourselves permission to change, to pivot, to shift so many, so much freedom came from that. And I just want that for you too. So anyway, so get into our Facebook group, Divine Destiny. And also like send me a, a DM with your invitation. I would love to hear it. I would, I really would. It's not just a, hey, tell me. Like I, I get excited when I hear stories and when I get feedback. And so when I get to just talk with you, It's way better than people like sliding into my DMs trying to sell crap. Like, no, if I wanted to buy followers, I would have done it already. I'm not going to do that because I have my podcast and I love my podcast listeners. And so those are my people. I don't need to buy followers on DMs. Anyway, like 
if you're if you have a business account on Instagram, you know what I'm talking about. Also, I know there's a lot of business people out there who will do that. Like it's just icky. Like no. So if you come into my DMs, like let's have a conversation. Let's let's talk instead of trying to sell. But anyway, with that friend, I am super excited. I've got a group starting at the well, it will probably be in the end of July, sometime in July. And we're gonna in just a few months, we're really going to create a purpose aligned business plan. It'll be a small group. We're gonna go step by step by step. And in that time frame, you will get not only know yourself in a deeper way, because and well, so many businesses, they don't start there. And that's where they start getting out of um, out of alignment. That's when it is they they so they're so focused on the doing that who they're being, and then all of a sudden they're workaholics or they don't know how to have a balance. And so we're going to talk about that. We're going to start with understanding yourself and what balance looks like. We're going to talk about your strengths, your weaknesses, your core avoidances, your core desires. We're going to look at your your top strengths. What are your gifts and your talents? And what has God been highlighting to you? Then from there, it's going to like, okay, how can that shift into our calling? Like, How can that highlight our calling and our purpose? And then how can we use it as as a ministry, as a business. And then the next step to create the plan and do it. Like it really can be that simple. So I am super excited about this group. And like I said, like, well, it's it's a done with you group. It's like, I will walk with you through all of this. And I can't wait to share it with you. So again, Divine Destiny, if you want information about this, like I starting, well, starting, I think, I don't know. I need to look on my calendar. Anyway, um, go in there. That's They're going to find out the information first because those are kind of my people. And um, those are the way I can get more information other than just because, I mean, you're listening to my podcast. You're my people too. So get in there so we can actually have a conversation and we can um, engage a little bit more and get to know each other. But all right, friend, choose joy until joy chooses you. And I will see you soon. Bye for now.